What's up YouTube and welcome back to the DIY beard. My name's Jez and I'm the man behind the beard and today we're going to be using some Auto Bright products to get my helmet looking brand new. So welcome back guys and if you haven't already done so please do go and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to stay up to date to every time we release a video. So as you can see today we've got my helmet out. Um, I haven't cleaned this since the last ride and so I don't know if you can pick that up in camera but it's looking really really sorry for itself. The roads around here um, it's only just turned spring as you can see outside it's still quite gloomy. Um, and so there is a lot of dirt and salt all on the roads, which obviously then gets transferred to your helmet when you go out and ride. Now the helmet I actually have is an AGV K3. Uh, that's the SV model, so it does come along with the sun visor on there. Um, I had this helmet about 12 months now, and to be honest, I must say I'm really, really happy with it. It's really, really lightweight, um, and it, it just does what I need it to, to be honest. Now, I do also have a Senna unit, and hopefully in the future we can do a quick review video on there. But I'm sure there are plenty out there already, so if you do need to, go and check those out. I definitely recommend the Senna units. Um, their mesh technology is absolutely brilliant and so easy to use when you're out on a group ride. Um, I've actually used it on public mode a couple of times as well, and we've actually got um, a few people that we didn't know that have joined our conversation and that's always quite funny but anyway back to the task in hand so cleaning the helmet now there is a multitude of videos out there and things to read about how you want to clean your helmet most people recommend the trusted method of the soap and water however i am an ambassador for the auto bright products and it wouldn't be a DIY beard video if we didn't get some of those out today. So what we've actually got is we've got Auto Bright's Halshine range and this is their product Pain. Now it's a high tech glass and visor cleaner so it's predominantly for your windows on your car however you can use it on your visor which is why we've got the helmet out. Now what I do want to do is I want to put these two head to head to find out exactly what is the best cleaning product out of the two. So I'm going to get some tape. We're going to tape a line down the middle of the helmet and we're going to clean one side with soap and water and the other side with Hellshine and see which is the best result. So let's get set up and we'll start the cleaning. <laughs> So as you can see what we've done is we've divided the helmet into two. On the left side we're going to use nothing but soap and water and then on the right side what we're going to do is we're going to use the Halshine range. So in the soap and water what I've got is a microfiber cloth, it is just a washing up liquid, nothing more than that and then a microfiber towel to buff that off. With the Halshine range we also have their enforcer buffing towel so all we're going to do is we're just going to spray that on and then what we're going to do is see which side is the shiniest. So what I've also got is I've got a spray bottle. Now it's not actually windowing in there, it's just plain old water. And once we've got each side clean, I'm going to spray the helmet across both sides. And I'm going to see if either of them have any effect on how water hits the helmet. Because we all know it's nothing worse... When you're riding down the road, uh, there's a little bit of rain. 
and you can't see out of your visor. So I'm wondering if any of these products react with the water, giving you a little bit of a, a clearer vision while out riding. So let's get cleaning. So that's standard soap and water and to be honest it's brought it up really quite well. I don't know if you can quite catch that, put it in the light, if you can quite catch that. But you can definitely tell that there's a difference between the two sides. Obviously soap and water, standard really, it does what it says on the tin. So how it's looking lovely and shiny again. All the dirt and crud has all been removed. Can't complain. But let's see what the hell shine does. So that's the right side all done with pain. Um, really, really impressed with it. It obviously went on really easy because it's in a spray bottle. But along with the enforcer buffing towel, that was really, really easy to use. I actually dare say it's a lot cleaner as well. What I tend to find, I don't think you can quite pick it up on camera, but you've almost got these little bit of soapy streaks in there um, especially on the, the visor itself I feel like you get much more of a, a cleaner crystal surface using the the pane there the enforcer is a uh, it's a glass cleaning pad anyway so I definitely recommend those to you um, if you want to go and sort you know if you're cleaning your cars etc put my teeth back in there uh, I definitely really recommend that to you so overall I will definitely be using pain to clean my helmet going forward uh, it, you can smell uh, the chemicals in it now obviously one of the reasons why a lot of people do recommend soap and water is you don't want to be going and putting harmful chemicals on your helmet so don't use just anything um, Please, please be careful with what you do put on your helmet. This is an integral piece of safety equipment at the end of the day. Um, and what you don't want to do is you do not want to damage the structural integrity of that at all. Um, some products are acidic and they are very, very harmful. Um, so they can cause micro cracks and damage to the plastic. They can also ruin your visor um, and, you know, give it a sort of a cloudy mistiness on there because what they're actually doing is it's eating the plastic so please like i said when you do go and clean your helmet be careful this has been proven um as a product that isn't harmful to your helmet it is a specific visor cleaner that health shine and auto bright um have which is one of the reasons why i've chosen to use that if in doubt though, you've still got good old soap and water. So as I said, what I wanted to do is I wanted to put this to a final test. And I wanted to see if you get any water displacement um, from using the Hellshine pain range compared to the standard soap and water. So with my trusty spray bottle, again guys, this is just water this is not windowing it's just 
the spray bottle that I had to hand at the time. Um, we're going to spray some water on and see what results we get. So hopefully this will simulate rain. So we spray the helmet on both sides with the water and if I'm completely honest with you there's not a huge lot of difference between both sides there so I wouldn't really say that the uh, pain has any difference on how the water reacts on the surface so I think basically we can just say that it's a very decent cleaner um, which at the end of the day is what we wanted to achieve when we were trying to clean the helmet. So ladies and gentlemen, what are my overall thoughts? Well, the Halshine Pain definitely came out as the clear winner in my eyes against standard soap and water. I found the product really, really easy to apply, especially in its handy little spray bottle. And the overall shine that it gave of the helmet was much better than soap and water. Now, use that as well with the Enforcer Glass Cleaning Cloth and I definitely think you're on to a winner there. Um, it went on and cleaned up so nice and it buffed off really, really well. It didn't come with an over harsh chemical smell, uh, which was really, really handy as I didn't feel like I needed a gas mask in order to clean the helmet. So I'll definitely be using it again in the future. Now, yes, okay, when we used it against the rain experiment, we didn't see any clear winner there. However, as an overall cleaner, I definitely rate the Hellshine Pain better than standard soap and water. Now, that doesn't mean that this is the only cleaner out there. This is just something that I find works really well for me. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I'll put a link in the description below from Autobrite as to where you can find these two products. And if you haven't already done so, please do go and hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification to stay notified every time I upload a video. So that brings us to the end of the video, guys. Please keep yourself safe out there, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye now.